hard, honest work can take your mind off anything. I designed the costumes for a small play that turned out to be a huge success. And one night, this French guy was visiting the theater. And in the end of Act Two, I fell down the stairs and everyone was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pierre Cochet, the French actor. I am the top name at Theater de Palais Royal. And this is Miss Olsen, who plays the captain's first wife. Ah, yes, of course, I remember. How lovely. It's an honor to meet you. And who is this lovely creature? Uh, this is Anna, our costume designer. Ah, uh, enchanté. Nice to meet you, too. Mr. Coche is also artistic director at the Palais Royale. The one in Paris? The Oui, my flower, the one in Paris. Your work is magnifique. I want you to make costumes for our next play. Me in Paris? Oui. Can you make big birds? I want feathers and wings and beaks. Well, that depends. You know, making big flashy costumes just for a show doesn't really challenge me. A costume should be an extension of the character and... and show the audience who the character is inside. That is what inspires me. Perhaps if you told me a bit more about the play. Mademoiselle, take my card. I will meet you tomorrow to discuss the details. Hmm. I'll call you then. And of course, the next day we had excellent reviews and I could find sponsors all over France. Pierre's offer wasn't only a career move, it was an opportunity to do what was best for me. A chance to get away from loud girlfriends and old lovers who popped up whenever they felt like it. But why wouldn't I say yeah? She's a bird with fancy feathers walking through the room. The local lady of the sun will make all your costumes. She can match you on a ticket. Together, you and me, I say. Some say she's connected, and Bowie's in the car. She's got a set of white long legs, you know that gets you far. There's money in the picture, a picture you can't see. The birds of the feather flock together, you and me, I say. Together, you and me, I say.
drag you away from your party. No, that's okay. Yeah. Well, it's actually you're starting to annoy me. <clears throat> Look, I, I know this sounds a bit corny, but... I don't suppose this belongs to you, does it? I found it in the back of the van. Well, then, let's see if it fits. <laughs> I know this is uh, technically trespassing, but I felt bad about leaving last night. Frank had no idea whose phone number he erased. I could have tried harder to find Johan. I know he thought I had his number, but hey, he was the one who knew where I lived.
obviously this was just another adventure of his. And I wasn't crying over him again. <laughs>